Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Cecilia Manella, and I hop on here every single week and share some mental health tips and tricks. Over the holiday season, there's been a lot of grief. So whether that is there's been deaths in the family or someone you know has died or there's been a massive change in your life, there's a lot of grief in this season right now, it seems. So I want to talk a little bit about grief. Now, grief is a really large topic, and I could probably spend days talking about grief. Um, but a little thing to think about is that grief is really patient. So what do I mean by that? It means that it will wait for you. So what I've learned about grief through my own personal journey of grief and working with people for over 20 years around grief issues is that one, grief is a natural human experience. So we, none of us get through life without some form of grief that we're living through, whether that's a loss of somebody or a loss of something about ourselves, whether it's a transition or a job or a home or relationship. So grief can be attached to the death of something, someone or the death of something. So something that comes to an end. And that is a consequence of human experience. There's no way around it. Grief is the consequence of love. Grief comes as a contract of love. So what that means to me is that grief and love are different sides of the same coin. So you cannot love without grieving. And we don't grieve things we don't care about or don't love. So the first thing to remember about grief is that grief is a consequence of the human experience. We all, we're just all human and we're all doing this and it's messy and it's disorganized and it's kind of meant to be. And grief is part of that human experience. The second thing to keep in mind is that we want to run away from it so badly because the feeling of grief in our body is very deep and it's very in depth in our hearts. It, it can take your breath away. It can feel like you cannot breathe. It can be very disorientating. It can turn you into somebody that you didn't know you were. And we want to push it away because when something changes us like that and it happens in a second, is we want to avoid it, we want to uh, deny it, we want to put it away. Now, um, the thing about grief is that grief is really patient. It will wait you out. It will wait your avoidance. It will wait your denial. It'll wait, you know, all the pushing away that you do. It is very patient. It will sit on the sidelines and it will just wait you out. So you either deal with it in the moment and dealing with it, it means feeling it, or you can put it aside in a box and it will wait for you. And whether that's six months, 12 months, three years, five years, 10 years, at some point you will have to contend with it. Because again, grief is part of the human experience. It's connected to love. So we continue to love. So if someone in your life has passed, has died, you continue to love that person, to love the memories, the way they were in your life and who they were. And so because of that, grief is attached to it. We also grieve relationships that and because we, we hold out hope and we grieve the fact that it's not going to be what we want it to be. It's never going to be what we want it to be. And so grief will wait you out on that too. So there's no avoiding grief. And the third thing to know about grief is that the greatest thing you can do, which will be so counterintuitive to you, because of humans, we love to control. We want to manage something. We want to wrap our you know um, arms around something. We want to contextualize it. We want to put it in a box and put a pretty bow on it and say, we get it. We understand it. We control it. We can put it away. Humans love that. We love this idea of control. We want to control our environment. We want to control everything in our lives, especially in the last couple of years where we have felt we've had no control. So we want to figure it out. And we do the same thing with grief. We want to put it in a box. We want to control it. We want to put parameters around it to say you can do this and not this and, and, and kind of dictate how grief will show up. And let me tell you, grief does not work that way. Grief has its own agenda. And the greatest thing you can do with grief is surrender. It is super counterintuitive because surrendering to us, to humans, feels like giving up and giving in. Like I'm surrendering into something. Like somehow I've lost this battle. It's a sense of failure. But let me tell you, this is not what surrendering with grief feels like. The surrendering to grief is this idea that I will not fight you and you are here because you serve a purpose. Grief, you are here because you're connected to the loving relationship I had or the sense of loss that I have. And I'm a human and humans experience grief. So I surrender to this experience. I welcome it in. I make space for it in my life. And when you stop fighting grief, everything changes. Now, it doesn't feel good. 
there's not good feelings that come with it. But what happens is that resistance, that struggle, that, that internal turmoil around it goes away. And what happens is you get to experience grief. And the more that you do the cycles of grief and feel it, the lesser the intensity over time. So it's not that it gets easier. It's not that you move through it and it's over. It's that you become accustomed to it and you become used to it. And in that becoming accustomed to it, in that surrender, lies the connecting to the softness of it, the grace that comes with it, the um, love that exists within it. And it is a hard process. I am not saying this is easy, but I'm saying it's part of the human experience. And I'm saying that instead of fighting so hard, you can make space for it and surrender to it. And trust me, it'll come in waves. It'll have the moments of it. It will not last forever. And it will move through you and move through your life in the way that it's supposed to. We are created to love. We love really easily. So therefore, we're created to grieve. So if we get our get out of the, our own way, we can do this grief thing and um, it will not be as hard. So I hope that teaches you just a little bit and I'll see you next week.